You good to go, my friend? Yeah, let's do All it. Right. Kevin, you want to hop in here? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> Ooh, now, I feel, now I feel cute, guys. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to SHOT Show 2022. This is day three. We are here with Kevin and Tim of Chris Reeve Knives. So guys, what do we have going on new here for 2022? Yeah, we've... Uh, I keep starting off with not a lot because you know our people know our brand and we kind of bring new things out slowly, but we've got a couple of tasty little things that it would be kind of fun to explain. Oh yeah. Um, we have introduced a crushed glass blast finish uh, as an option on a bunch of the knives. So a lot of folks are, are familiar with our classic sandblast. It's it's nice and tacky. It, it you know, it, it, it ages really well. Yeah. You can send it in for a spa service. We can re-blast it and get it back up and going. Um, you know, we've been doing that for over 30 years. Uh, we're still an option, and so, but but we brought out this uh, crush glass. It kind of we, we do it right over the top, so it's a two-step blasting process. Um, it just looks good. It's it you don't lose your overall grip. Like the knife's not slipping out of your hand. Exactly. But it doesn't tear up your pockets as much. It's just real clean and slick. Like the corners kind of pocket polish. I mean, he's got you know on his Sabenza. Um, it just it looks good. You know, it's been a, a, a kind of what somebody described to me as like a modern, a little bit of a modern uh, finish. So you've had the uh, crushed glass finish on your Sabenza here for how long? About four, four and a half months. Okay. Yeah, it's worn really well. Um, you can see that it holds up phenomenally well. I mean, there's some spots that you can see some wear down on the edge, but a pocket clip is really the best way to test that. I mean, it holds really well. It looks amazing. And so you were saying that yesterday, you were saying that a lot of the services that you guys are getting in here mm -hmm. recently have had that as a request. Absolutely. So that's a service that you guys are offering. Mm -hmm. Yep. Along with double lugs, those are the two big services yeah. that we're offering. Yeah. Yeah. You send yeah. back, I mean, almost any one of our, our knives, uh, wood inlays being the exception okay. and some uh, old stuff. But I mean, any planes, any micartas, like, well, we can zip out. The yeah. rule was if, it's, if it was sandblasted, we can probably glass blast it. Because it's just yeah. a step on top of Correct. that. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And so yesterday we were also talking about the fact that on the micarta, it tends to kind of change the look of the micarta yes. as well, which is really so neat. So let me grab one of those. Awesome. So you can see where right here where it darkens it up quite a bit substantially. It removes some more of that linen look and it really makes it look a lot darker. Uh, everything's exactly the same between these two knives, except one is glass blasted and one just has our standard sandblast finish. So the hardware looks a little different, but it's exactly the same. It really does change the entire kind of vibe of the knife. It, I think this is going to be a really, really cool addition. And Tim, what's what's going on with these here? You were saying there's some other different finishing options that we have yeah. on the wood options here. So for the longest time, we've always, with, with the wood inlays, we've always done a polished handle um, and a polished blade. Uh, that's just that's just how we've done it. Um, we just recently, I think it was Blade Show this last year, opened up the option uh, to do a blasted handle. We've been asked about it for so many times, so it's not, you know, you can see the polish and the blast. Blasted handles with wood inlays and a tumbled blade. Some guys want kind of a, a user wood inlay. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. So those are both uh, new options and all of the wood inlays as a whole have gone to strictly that, that crushed glass blast. One of, the, one of the problems is like, when it comes to servicing with a wood inlay, the, it limits and it gets quite narrow. Yeah. We can repolish the the blade, but the handles you, we can't pop the wood out uh, without breaking or cracking or yeah. so, stuff like that. So a lot of times you just say, "Hey, we can't do anything on the handle." So with this, it's a little more resilient to the scratches and the kind of wear, if you will. Um, yeah, it just doesn't snail trail as much. Kind of um, gives people the flexibility to make that into a user if they if, if they so choose. If they wanted, and it kind of maintains the classy look for a long time. So, Absolutely. You know, again, this is all kind of like small little nuances yeah. stuff, which yeah. is is kind of fun. You know, a lot of uh, us knife nerds get off on this kind of thing. Um, as I said to somebody else, like we're not saving babies or you know <laughs> curing the hunger, you know, but it's fun stuff, right? It's, it is. It's, yeah. And you know, for because obviously you know there are a lot of collectors of your guys' knives, sure. so this really opens up their doors. Like if they have every model so far, you know, they can they can start over and they can start getting a lot of this cars class finish on the whole line essentially, right. which right. is really cool. It's answering a lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of requests for this kind of this kind of thing, so here we are. And I think it looks amazing. So the other day we were talking about how you guys are kind of expanding production. There's some new facilities going on. Do you guys do you have anything you want to comment on about that? Yeah. No. I mean, we're. I'm excited. I'm excited to be done with the show because I get back and on the first we uh, we move into take on another 8,500 square feet and awesome. it's going to be like open up another chapter. Uh, you know, of, of Chris Reeve knives. We're going to be moving machines around. We got a lot of machines on the way. 
um, and just trying to figure out how to do all this without disrupting what what works, right? You yeah. Know, that's, that's kind of what been what a lot of the conversations are. But yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, we'll we'll grow into it slowly and surely. But um, we just we just need more space. We're running out of you know elbow room. That's a good will. problem to have. It, it really is. Like we've been fortunate this last. Well, the last 30 years, we've always had a high demand for our knives. Absolutely. These last two years has been a like ridiculous demand for the it's knives. Still- I mean, the whole industry is like alive and healthy. Every co- every company can't make enough knives, right? Yep. So we're one of them, and uh, that's why you don't see us bringing out a lot of new models. It's like we have a lot of models that we already have on order that we got to get to making, and uh, we're gonna just try and do that, keeping that quality exactly, you know, where it is, to keep it right high. Well, and I think that's probably a better way to do it because you see a lot of times you see companies and they are cranking exclusives, they're cranking something unique, they're cranking this, that, and the other, and then their core product, their core line is kind of getting left in the dirt, right? And that's just not the right way to do it. I feel like yeah. so we're constantly amazed at like how much regular maintenance it is to, to continue to make what we've been making for a long time. I mean, there's <laughs> days in the shop we're like we've been making this knife for ten years. Like, we, I, do we not know how to make it right now? <laughs> you know, and so there's a lot of just uh, you know maybe one step back and two steps forward, you know. Um, so there's a constant, constant make, maintenance of making our product how we do it. Yeah. Um, so it's, look, we've got a lot of stuff we want to do in the future. We've got knife designs in our back pockets. Like, there's stuff on the horizon, but uh, there's a responsibility to the people that have orders with us. Uh, absolutely. You know? so. um, and then with with the fixed blade offerings, I know we were talking the other day, you were, we're moving into CPM 4V. Yeah. Which is a really, really cool move. What kind of inspired that move for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it kind of became time. We, we needed to get into a, a step past uh, S35. You know, S30V, S35, they've, they both had their, their times and their run. Um, they're great steals. I mean, just because something new comes out doesn't make those just burst into flames or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I was talking with the uh, Niagara guys. They said they, they, they're selling so much S35, they can't believe it, right? So that's great. It's yeah. good to see Crucible steels, American steels being produced like that. You know, we got into S45. Uh, it was a great step with the folders, just a little bit of boost in edge retention um, and a little bit of corrosion resistance. Sure. But with the fixed blades, it's like, okay, let's maybe try something else. And 4V, I mean, Chris had been, been wanting to use 4V for quite a few years. Okay. And so that kind of came from there. I mean, we've used 3V in the past, like on a big limited run chopper. You yeah. know, anyone that knows those kind of tool steels, they're tough as hell. You can beat them up. Yeah. You know, they're really cool. So, yeah, jumped in the 4V. It's uh, it's been interesting lear- learning to work it. It it's a uh, it fights back a little bit, cool. but you know I think we're getting good knives out the door. Um, I mean I've taken mine out in the woods and it's just like it just, it just keeps going. Right? That's awesome. When he brings it back, that's when he gets really loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's awesome. Tough. It's yep. really tough stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of where it is for now. I mean, uh, anyone that's kind of following the the, the knife steel world in the in the knife industry and us like magna cut is on the horizon and like that's a whole big you know thing coming around the corner so we'll see what that looks like but for right now we're shipping fixed blades and 4b okay all of our folders in uh, s45 and it's a pretty good pairing for I right think now so. yeah um, and we'll see what like Magnica has to offer because that's a, another can of worms. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. yeah, that'll uh, that'll obviously be the uh, thumbnail for the video now because you mentioned the word Magna Cut. <laughs> I know, it's just like yeah, it's, it's a like, funny word. Yeah, you yeah. have that. You gotta have those buzzwords. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you can we can we take a look at some of these uniques here as yeah, well? Yeah, sure. These these sure. are gorgeous Congrats. and uh, always some eye candy. So this is a a handful of a little sampling of some of the graphics that we do. Uh, we're known for putting putting some some cool stuff on the knives, not just inlays 100%. or planes or whatever. Um, we've been doing what what we call unique graphics for God, I don't know 30 years or something like that. Putting on on you know since the early 90s, my dad had started doing that. Kind of called it painting with a, a milling machine. That's so cool. it's you know using a standard little little uh, three axis manual milling machine like a little bridge port. Uh, we cut out all these little like. Wings and dings and stuff is yeah. how my old man used to describe it. We yep. have a, a gal that works for us named Lisa, who's been working for us for coming on 22 years. Fantastic. She's been doing the uniques for, for about that amount of time. So each one's unique. It's a, it's, a, it's a one-off piece of artwork. Even if she does a match set, like a large and small, they're still unique to, yes. to each self on, yes. a, on, a, on a production knife that is known to be like, each one's the same, right? So yeah. it's kind of yeah. a cool juxtaposition. A lot of guys like that. It's a cool canvas to work on. 
um, and she does stuff that's you know just just simple colors. Um, so this has a hematite cabbage on in there. We put various uh, uh, stones and things in, which is also kind of nice. Kicks it up, cool. up a little bit. Um, so that's what's fun. Uni the unique graphics is, is kind of one style and, and one corner of the graphics world. Um, but we also have a, a, a laser engraver where we can do some really cool, intricate stuff. I mean, what you can do with the laser, you just can't do with the milling machine or, or not nearly as easily. So <clears throat> this is new to the show. This is available for order. It's called the Forever Flag. Okay. Um, it's just it's about time to put a, a, a flag back on a, a Sebenza. We've done it many times over over the years. I love that. And uh, yeah, clean, simple tumble blade. Um, you know, it's deep in grapes. You can feel it. Got a little bit of a blackening pass in there. Um, people just like that kind of stuff. So absolutely. That's uh, yeah, ready to order. And so th this is is this kind of signifying your guys' commitment to American steels, American labor production, everything like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I that's mean, really every cool. knife says Idaho made on the back, and it's yes, not going to change. You know, we we kind of go at lengths to to keep what we make and what goes into our product within the United States. Um, it's it's dear to our hearts, um, and we're we're Americans. We're big patriots. My folks came to the United States for a reason. Yes, sir. The, the freedoms that we you know have and. And we're trying to hold on to, right? So, no, it's, it's just it's just about time to put another American flag on the on a Sabenza. I love so, that. Well, yeah. Tim, thank you so much for right. spending some time with us today. Right. Do you have anything else you want to tell the community? I think that's it, man. I think I'm tapped out. But, you know, <laughs> but holler if if you need anything, if anything comes up, and uh, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, Tim, thank you hey. so much, my friend. Thanks, guys. Guys, stick around for more Shot Show 2022 content. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.